Uh, good day students once again uh, I think I can clearly say now this is uh, almost the last recording on the future value of an annuity it's the first question though but I've started with all other questions to me this is the last one uh, is is concerning uh, the conversion and when not to use BGN yet some of the payments are made at the beginning of the period quite important to master also uh, exercise 3.3 says the following information uh, refers to question a to c uh, 500 is deposited for monthly into an account for four years with the first deposit highlight the fact that with the first deposit is only the first deposit that is made at the beginning of the time period uh, then it says compute the equivalent rate of interest compounded for monthly if the interest is earned at 7.5% per annum compounded to monthly. So now we are converting the interest that is compounded for monthly if the interest that is uh, given is compounded um, every two months. So that being the case, then we go straight to our conversion first. And our conversion says um, 1 plus j over, we divide by 4 because this is what we're looking for to the power of 4 uh, equals 1 plus uh, 0.075 divide by <clears throat> uh, the one that we are converting is compounded monthly, we divide by 12 to the power of 12. Uh, then after we first have to eliminate the power, we divide by 4. Whatever we do on the left, we must do it on the right. Four, 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. Then after we'll be left on the left hand side with 1 plus j over 4 equals. Then let us deal with the over the equal sign. Open brackets 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12. Close brackets second function dip. 3 then this will give us 1 point it will give us 1 point 1 point 0 1 8 8 6 7 4 3 2 then we put the 1 over the equal sign it becomes minus 1 then we have j over 4 equals j over 4 equals we say minus 1 what do we get is uh, we get we get 0 0.018 0 0.018 867431 uh, then we have to deal now with the division which is the 4 then we divide by, by 4 then what do we do we have to say divide by 1 year then we do cross multiplication times by 4 then this will be multiplied by 4 this will be multiplied by 1 then our j will be equal to 0 0.0754 then we multiply by 100 so that we get into a full percentage multiply this by 100 we get 7.54 percent we get 7.54 percent so now this will be rounded off to five decimal places 7 uh, 7.54 six nine seven percent per annum so now this is the interest that uh, we have that we will be using to some extent as we continue with our calculations now let us then now look at the second requirement what are we required to do then the second requirement say that we are required to calculate 
just above. We are required to calculate the future value at the end of year five if there are the money was left in the account to earn interest after the last deposit at the end of year four. So let us then uh, again verify. It says 500 is deposited four monthly, meaning every four months uh, 500 is deposited. So now if the 500 is deposited every four months with the first uh, deposit made at the beginning and all other deposits made at the end, that means every four months or the first four months we make two payments. I want to highlight that in the first four months we make two payments because we make the first payment in the beginning and the second payment was made at the end. Um, at the end, so we need to be uh, very clear when it comes to that. First payment made at the beginning, the last one, the second one made at the end. So now what does that mean? That means uh, if we say this is a period of four months, term one and this is term two. First payment was made at the beginning, second payment was made at the end, this is December. So second payment was made at the end, another 500 was made here. So now over one period, two payments were made. That means our N is 2 because January a payment was made and December a second payment was made. Why am I saying January and December? Because they said the first payment was made at the beginning but all other payments were made at the end. That means if the payments are made January or they are made at the end of the year, so the first one will be in January, second one will be in December. But in this case, uh, payments are made uh, every four months. That means uh, we made 500 payments beginning of the term. We had uh, as beginning of the term, then month one, month two, month three. Then at the end of month number four, another payment uh, took place. So now meaning over a period of one uh, period, which is one four month, two payments were made. Uh, then after we are required now to calculate uh, the future value at the end of year five if the money was left in the account to earn interest after the last deposit at the end of year four. And I want to highlight the fact that um, it says after the deposit uh, at the end, take note at the end of year four. So the deposit did not take place at the beginning of uh, the period, but at the end of uh, the period. So now meaning only the first deposit was made at the beginning and all other deposits were made at the end. That means over one period, we make two payments. We made two payments. So now let us uh, then now uh, calculate the future value in, in this case and see how far do we go. So we have plus minus. Uh, an amount of 500 of which this amount is our uh, PMT that is made every four months. Now our interest uh, that we are going to be taking into account is the interest that we have calculated which is the 7.54% uh, 687 that we calculated previously. Then now because it is um, compounded quarterly and we know that there are how many quarters in a year. So sorry, it is compounded four monthly. How many four months do we have in a year? There are three four months in a year. So we divide by three. Then our N will be uh, for how many years uh, were these payments made? These payments were made for a period of uh, uh, four years, which is year four. Now, if uh, these were made for a period of four years, then now we need to calculate uh, our N to be four, but we need to say four plus one. Why do we say four plus one is because um, it will first be four times by three, because in each and every year we have four, uh, we have three, four months. So we say four times three. That means over the period of four years, we are going to be making three payments. Where is this plus one coming from? The plus one is coming from the fact that the first payment was made at the beginning of the period. The first payment was made at the beginning of the period, meaning beginning of the quarter. 
or sorry beginning of four months because four months is not a quarter to be honest that means as i said to you that when we draw this line meaning in the first four months this is the first four month uh, beginning there we made a payment this was end of uh, the first month end of the second month end of the third month meaning month number one number two month number three month number four beginning of uh, the first quarter we made a payment of 500 and at the end of the first quarter we made another uh, payment of 500 meaning if we say this is a uh, quarter one if we say this is quarter one we can agree that two payments were made in quarter one because in the beginning the initial deposit was made in the first in the beginning and also it was made at the end because all other payments were made at the end of the quarter that means now in the second quarter meaning quarter number two we are going to make payment of 500 only at the end then quarter number three uh, quarter number two quarter number three payments will be made at the end we can see that we have one we have two we have three quarters but how many payments are made one two three four that is why now we are saying plus one we are adding the amount that was made at the beginning so now whenever there's such case uh, please make sure that you always say plus one that is why we say four years times by three because there are three four months uh, there are three four months remember these quarters i'm saying they are they, 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 they are quarters in in a year but it's normally four months it's not a quarter of three months so now every four months that uh, we have we know that there are three four months uh, in a year so we say four times by three then we also say plus one to add the first payment that took place at the beginning of this period so now let us compute our future value compute our future value and in this case we don't use the bgn function because not all payments were made at the beginning of the period or beginning of the four month uh, but the payments is only the first one that was made at the um beginning so this will mean we have 13 payments that are made over the period uh, of four years so that will be four times three which is 12 plus one therefore now that means 13 payments will be made then we compute our future value then now uh, we will still be using uh, the calculator manual calculator which you can still use uh, the uh, the very lovely calculator which is the app that i've been using before plus minus 500 is pmt 7.54687 uh, divide by 3 is our interest then we have 13 as our n we compute our future value then we get to the future value which is seven thousand five hundred and seventy seven rand fifty uh, fifty five cents now please be mindful of the fact that the reason we divided by three in the interest is because there are three four months in a year so now and the reason why we multiplied uh, uh, by three is also because there are three four months in a year so now is the number of times the interest is compounded in a year now there are three four months in a year so this is the future value at the end of year four this is the future value and year four future value and year four so now this amount will earn interest and stay in the account up until the end of year five because we are required to calculate the future value at the end of a uh, um, year five and not at the end of year four after the last payment uh, took place so now because we are looking for the interest at the end of year five so now we will have to say uh, this future value must become the present value then after we accumulate interest only once off remember now we are no longer making a uh, quarterly pay or four monthly payments so now because we are no longer making four monthly payments then we say okay our present value is seven thousand five seventy seven rand fifty five cents this is our pv because now we are accumulating this amount from year four to year five again earning interest once a year and not compound uh, uh, no, no, no longer compounded quarterly now we go back to the same normal interest rate that was given to us our interest rate was 7.5 percent and they said how often is the interest compounded the interest that was given to us 
uh, was compounded uh, to monthly. This is the interest that was compounded to monthly. The interest is compounded to monthly, but uh, because the payments were made for monthly, so now when we calculated the future value, uh, when the 500 was made, we had to use the interest rate uh, that was compounded for monthly, which is the one that we converted. So now hence we use that 7.54687 in the first calculation. Uh, uh, um, so now in the second calculation, we will not be using the 7 point because we are no longer making the four monthly payments. Uh, because in this account, uh, this person is earning interest at 7.5% compounded um, uh, every two month, meaning two monthly. So now we had to make sure that our uh, four monthly compound is equivalent with the 7.454687 of the interest that is also compounded every four months. So now that's why we use that interest previously. But now we are just accumulating the amount for the next one year. Then our interest uh, will be compounded two months. And how many two months do we have in a year? The six months. Then our N will only be uh, one year. Officially, you know that one year is only 12 months. Then you can say 12 divided by 2. If we want to do so, then uh, this will give us uh, 6. Or else you can say a year is one year times by uh, the number of two months in a year. There are six two months in a year. If we times by six, it will still give us six. Remember, if we use the number of months, I explained this in compound interest. If we have the number of months as our N, we divide by the number of months in a compounding period. Remember, if it's compounded two monthly, how many months do we have in two months? There is two months. So when it's month, make sure that we divide by the number of months in a compound. So our N is 6, then after we compute the future value, then our future value now will be uh, plus minus 7,577.55 is our PV, uh, 7.5 divided by 6 is our interest, then 6 is our N, then we compute the future value. Our future value is 8,000. 163.92 cents. So now this becomes our future value. So now this is our future value uh, at the end of year five. And the next last uh, lovely question is to calculate uh, the amount of the interest that was earned over uh, the period of this investment. How much interest did this investor uh, uh, earn? Remember this investor it deposited um, 500 for 13 four months for 13 four months so now for us to calculate the total interest that he earned over uh, this investment it will be total interest equals 8163 rand uh, 92 cents minus the amount that he invested he invested 500 times by 13. So now we need to say 500 times by 13. 500 times 13 minus uh, it will give us 1,663.92 cents. So now this is the amount that I uh, would have earned as interest over the period of the investment. And I hope again, guys, you understand why do we say 13 is because uh, the, in this case, the first payment or the first investment took place at the beginning and the next investment took place at the end, meaning over a period of four months, two payments were made. Then now over, uh, um, which is one period. So two payments were made. Therefore, now, hence, we needed to say plus one. So guys, with that being said, uh, let me say thank you very much. That uh, is uh, the very important information to note regarding uh, one period uh, that has been added in the beginning and another one made at the end of the period. Uh, with that, guys, thank you very much.